If you are what you say you are A superstar Then have no fear The camera's here And the microphone's up? Come on in kind of started out as a funny little project because I was wake surfing with some friends and um, you know I, I met a, a girl on the boat and she happened to be a, a fitness instructor and she had this little red wagon that she would take with her to fitness studios and the name of her studio was Shine Fitness and and she had a great relationship with her Swedish grandmother and who happened to be, na be named Marilyn and I just thought it was such a funny story and I asked if I could write a story about her and it started off really silly and just playful but as the story developed and as I continued writing I didn't have a, a lot of access to you know ask her questions or hang out with her to you know like get more ideas so the story became more and more about me how I grew up and just about like humanity in general, how we, you know, sometimes have different coping mechanisms that we use to deal with our problems and issues. And then I read an autobiography about JK Rowling's and did some research on storybook writing and started relating the character to how we all deal with uh, different problems such as fear, failure, rejection, abandonment. So yeah, you know. I never thought of myself as a author or becoming an author or a writer because one, I, I just didn't really think about it. I don't know why. I mean, I always wrote and I read a lot and, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, if you're really good at something, you always question yourself like, am I really good enough to, to compete with? All these other amazing writers, authors, athletes, you know, like artists or whatever you're good at, like singing. Because you don't know and, until like, I think I just started writing and people started reading my stuff and they said it was good. And then I just kept on going at it and then it just kept on working out and here we are, you know. I, it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to be an author. I, I think I just started writing and I realized that it was good then. I thought it was a good story and I, you know, I, I, I wanted to share it with the world. I just wanted people to read this story and be inspired about, you know, like what's going on in this story and maybe could change some minds. I don't know, maybe could change some hearts, maybe like help somebody be a better person or help them rethink things in their lives. Like who knows, you know, but maybe that's why I wanted to become an author. I don't really know. I just know that I wrote this book and here we are right now, and I hope people like it. That's about it. My spare time, I, of course, like to read. I work out a lot. I mean, uh, I like staying in shape and training. I do, like, mixed martial arts and MMA. I've been doing jiu-jitsu for about 10 years right now, and I love watching football, and I like hanging out with friends, going out to eat. I like dancing, that's one of my favorite hobbies, like hip hop, definitely. And listening to music and writing and making music and, you know, just hanging out.
Well, in my opinion, I think every man needs to be Batman. Well, not needs to be Batman. Every man should desire to be like Batman because he's the ultimate man. I mean, like, who doesn't want to be Batman? I mean, like, he's, like, super rich, he's super buff, and he could kick anybody's butt, and he has a butler, and he has cool cars, and, yeah, but besides that, um, I, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but besides that, I, I like the, um, the philosophy and the ideology of Batman, and, like, the metaphors and the, the meanings behind the character and the layers within the story. And I actually took a class called American Film as Literature and we read graphic novels in the entire quarter and we actually dissected and studied Batman versus Superman and till this day, I cannot stand Superman. And honestly, like, I'm not even kidding. When I meet a girl, one of the questions I ask her is, who she likes better, Superman or Batman. And if she says Superman, I run the other way. But if she says Batman, there's hope for her. <laughs> there's <a> chance. <laughs>